Good evening, Bahamas. Coming up tonight, a man gunned down in Fox Hill. The DNA promises true electoral reform. Plus, their leaders in trials for the Beach Soccer World Championship. Our news is brought to you by Alive, the nation's newest and best LTE network. Good to be alive. Welcome to our news and thanks for joining us. I'm Kyle Joaquin. Topping news tonight, police probing another murder in the Capitol tonight. This one in Fox Hill where a man was gunned down. Uh, what we can see here is that uh, shortly after 8 a.m. this morning, the deceased, along with family members, uh, they were in their apartment building. The deceased was sitting in the living room near to a window when an uh, unknown male fired several shots. Uh, uh, into the residence. As a result, uh, the deceased was shot uh, to the body. The murder occurring in broad daylight as the victim and his family get set to start their Saturday. According to Fernander, the victim is known to police, but an investigation is still underway to determine a motive. As you can see, this is a well knitted area and we are appealing to, to members of the public, uh, residents of this area, with any information to please come forward uh, to assist. But based on our preliminary inquiries at this time, uh, we feel good where we are at this time with the investigation to bring some speedy closure uh, to this matter. You know, as we move about and investigate and, and matters and uh, uh, deal and seek out a number of uh, prolific offenders, uh, you know, sometimes you just arrive on scene and be able to identify the individual right away based on their uh, in and out of uh, police custody, and this is one of those matters. It's been a fairly quiet week for police in terms of murders. Fernander said thankfully police have been able to stop incidents before they occurred. Uh, we just want to uh, continue to thank the members of the public for their continued support uh, uh, with the police, and uh, we want to continue and to build on that relationship uh, to ensure that everybody in this country and even the visitors to make sure that they are safe and we are doing uh, just that. The Democratic National Alliance is promising to introduce legislation that effectively addresses campaign finance reform. DNA leader Bema McCartney says a major part of reform is also instituting fixed election dates. Under the DNA this will not happen. Under the DNA we are going to have campaign finance reform and we're going to have campaign reform, okay? We're going to make sure that there, there are fixed constituencies. We're going to make sure that, yes, it is, come on, we need to move with the times. McCartney says the system of governance has been compromised, adding that the influence of money on the electoral process will continue to put the interests of certain groups before the needs of the Bahamian people. McCartney said both the PLP and FNM have failed to deliver on proper electoral reform at the expense of the country. McCartney believes that it's only with a DNA government that there will be any change. We're going to have to make those changes, but that's going to take a DNA government. You could rest assured, if the PLP or the FNM were to win, and they, they talk about it now, but you'll never see, because they've done it over and over again, and you must believe them. They've talked, they're talking about campaign finance reform, and they're talking about the changes in uh, <coughs> uh, uh, campaign reform. After the election, if they were successful, God forbid, you'll never see it happen. Well, Thursday night on Christie Park was all about the free national movement's candidates for the inner city communities of New Providence. The men all running for seats considered to, by many to be PLP strongholds all believe they can change the trend this go around. Going up against Prime Minister Christie is FNM candidate for Centerville, Reese Chipman. You forgot you were there before in 2007 to 2012. Yeah, but the people remembered you. You did nothing for Peter Street, nothing for Milton Street, nothing for, for, Grants, for Bain and Grantstown, because you know we bought them, and nothing for Taylor Street. The new constituency of St. Barnabas is made up of polling divisions from five PLP strongholds. The FNM candidates for that constituency, Shannon Don Carteret, said it doesn't worry him at all. We will work together to build a better St. Barnabas by creating jobs and the establishment of a vibrant community development center with real meaningful programs for the elderly and the youth of St. Barnabas. We will work together to generate sustained economic activity along with the party's commitment to the redevelopment of all All we want to know is where the VAT money gone. No fairy tale stories, 
Where the VAT money going? When our news returns, lesson learned from the landfill fire, plus the local cheerleaders heat up the beach soccer stadium. Stay with us.